In the last few months, there's been a massive influx of brand new gun buyers picking up their first gun. Today, we're gonna to talk a little bit about safe gun handling for new gun owners. Stick around. Thanks for joining us on Shoot of the Series. My name is Ed Thorell from Firearms Education and Training, and we're glad you're joining us. We appreciate you watching and helping us give our channel traction. If you like what we're doing, hit the like button as well as the share, but also hit that bell so you get instant notifications every time we've got a brand new video. If you really like what we're doing, come check us out on Patreon and partner up with us. Today, we've got Jacob back. Good to see you, brother. Good to see you, too. You've been uh, out searching for handguns still? I have. All right, well, cool. You know, one of the things, you know, if you go into the shops, one of the things that you're going to notice right off is uh, safe gun handling skills, and they can't be overemphasized. You know, we talked about the three safety rules, or the four safety rules. Always keep your finger off the trigger. Always keep the gun pointing in a safe direction. Keep the gun unloaded until you're ready to use it. And then know your target and know your environment. Now, those are the four universal safety rules, but we also want to talk about is what's called safe gun handling. And when you go into the gun store, if you've got guys behind the counter that know what they're doing and are good at what they're doing, they're going to be doing safe gun handling, and you want to take the cue from them and learn how they do it. Now, we're going to start. We've got a revolver. We've got a semi-auto. The, uh, the techniques are a little bit different, but we'll get you squared away. You've probably seen them before, so this may not be a new thing. But we're going to start off by showing safe and clear, because that's something our audience really appreciates. We always show safe and clear. No big surprises. Nothing bad's going to happen. All right. So we've established the guns are empty. We can have a conversation and no big surprises. Now, I know you were talking about a revolver, but it's just as important when you go out and you're shopping to know how to handle a semi-auto also. But we'll start with a revolver anyway. Whenever you pick up the pistol, make sure you keep your finger high up on the, on the frame. You're gonna notice that I'm actually pointing like I'm pointing my finger. And that's because you actually want to be deliberately having your finger off the, the trigger. You don't want it to be curled. If it's curled, it can be relaxed and it can slide in. So you want to be deliberate about having your finger off the trigger. Now, most guns, unfortunately, are only made for right-handers. Luckily, you're a right-hander. Now, the way you would do this is you would use your thumb, in this case with the Ruger, to push the button in. And then with your other hand, you're going to cradle the pistol, hold it underneath. And with these two fingers, while you're pushing in, push the cylinder out, and then you're gonna take your right hand off. So you're cradling it with your left, which means when you get in the habit of doing this, you'll be loading with your right and holding the gun in your left. And then what you could do is you would hand it like that, and you're able to check it out. You can go ahead and close up the cylinder, and then before you hand it back to me, what you would do is you would open that up, click it out, and then hand it back to the guy behind the store. Very good. And that way, when they take it out of the counter, they make sure that it's unloaded. And before they put it back into the counter, they're making sure it's unloaded. So it's a, it's a, it's a double safety check. You make sure at all times that the gun is safe because every gun is loaded until you prove it's not. And say you're at home, you know, you get a brand new revolver and you wanna show your dad, show your mom what you got. Same thing what we're going to do. We're going to open it up, we're going to show safe and clear, and we're going to be handing it to somebody. And then what you're going to do is you can check it out, and just like you did before, open it up, show safe and clear, hand it back. Pretty simple, right? Okay. The beauty of the revolver is this is as far as you're ever going to take it apart. Easy to clean, easy to maintain, it's all good. All right. Now, it's a little bit different when we're talking about a semi-auto because to look at it, you can't tell. So what you want to do for starters, same thing. Put your finger high up on the frame, You're pointing at something. This way, if your finger 
um, can't slide into the into the trigger guard and accidentally hit the trigger. So have your finger fully extended like you're pointing at somebody. Then what you're gonna do is with your thumb, push in this button right here. Luckily, most of these controls are gonna be universal. So you're gonna find that your magazine release on most pistols is gonna be right below your thumb. Your safety is gonna be high and above your thumb. And then your slide stop or release is gonna be right above where your thumb normally plants. Now, what you're going to do is point it in a safe direction. You're going to push up on this as you pull this back, and it's gonna go into that little notch right there. And this way, you can physically look, maybe put your finger in there to make sure that there's nothing hiding, show everybody that it's unloaded, and then when you hand it to somebody, you hand it to them like this. And then what you'll want to do, you know, you want to check it out, is you'll put, push down on this, put the magazine inside, give it a tap, and then what you're going to do is you're going to go through the process again when you want to hand it back to me. You'll drop the magazine, you'll push up on this as you pull this back, and it locks right into there and then it's safe. All right, this is how we would hand it to somebody behind the counter. All right, you can check it out. All right, so the first thing you'll do is drop the magazine. Yep, push that in with your thumb. And you're gonna push up on that lever. Push up on, there you go, just like that. That's fine, it's, it's, it's slick but you're doing it right. Outstanding. You can see where you have to have it fully engaged. We call that a teachable moment. That's all right. There you go, just like that. So once again, we're gonna do that again, just to make sure everything's concrete, and we'll demonstrate it again. Drop your magazine, take away the food supply, pull this all the way to the rear, and make sure that that is locked all the way up and then hand that over to someone just like that. All right, so you can drop the mag. Go ahead, and, go, ahead and, go ahead and drop the slide first so you can check the gun out. Let it slam forward, good, okay. So what do you wanna do next? Okay. Excellent, so drop the magazine, push the button in, excellent. Now pushing that thing way up nice and tight so it goes into that notch, pull it back as you're pushing up. There you go. And how would you hand it back to me? Excellent. This is what we would call safe gun handling. Same thing. Every gun is loaded until you prove it's not. So as a result, if you, you employ all of these methods, pointing in a safe direction, keeping your finger off the trigger, you're not going to have any accidents. You're going to avoid tragedy. And that's the name of the game. So anyway. Jacob did a really nice job on um, showing how to make these safe and clear. And when we come back, we're going to have Jacob run a couple of his first rounds through them. All right? Stick around. We'll be back in just a few. On behalf of Shooter the Series, we want to thank you all for watching and tuning in. If you really like what we're doing, come find us on Patreon and consider partnering up with us. All right, we're back. And Jacob's had a chance to look through the selection of what we've got uh, available, and he's decided he's going to come off the porch, run with the big dogs, and he's chosen the Colt Python. <laughs> Good choice. All right, go ahead and load six. All right, so take control of it with your right hand and close that up with your left. Just push it in. Good. Make sure that the cylinder locks into place. That's good. All right, remember, get your grip, thumb over thumbnail. That looks awesome. All right, raise your pistol. Now, what you're going to do is you're looking through the sights. You're going to put that red front blade so that it fills up that notch. So with your left thumb, Pull back on the hammer and return it thumb over thumbnail. All right. Go ahead and aim right for the X, right in the very center. 
ease your finger forwards on the pad. Nice and soft. Just add soft pressure. Good job. With your thumb, haul it back. Return thumb over thumbnail. Now reach forward with your trigger finger. Soft. Good job. All right, one more time in single action. Thumb over thumbnail. Soft. Outstanding. All right, now what I want you to do is go ahead and put your finger on the trigger, but all the way up onto the crease. Just like that. Nice and soft. Start adding even pressure all the way to the rear. Nice, clean stroke. Keep going, keep going. Outstanding. Let's do that again. Finger on the crease. Nice, smooth stroke to the rear. Good job. Let's do that again. Got one more in there. Excellent. All right. Hey, look at that. I'd be proud of that. All right. Now to unload it, the Colt's a little bit different. You want to pull back on with this thumb here, pull that back, and then reach underneath and pop them out. Excellent. Go ahead and just set the pistol down. We'll unload it in a minute. All right. I'm going to get you started with the 1911 just to run you through it. Once again, let's establish that we're safe and clear. What I'm going to do is I'm going to load it, I'm going to rack it, and I'm going to put the safety on it for you so that all we have to do is click the safety off. All right. So, just like we always stress, get used to putting your finger on the top round. That way it acts as a guide. Even in the middle of the night, one hand can find the other. To rack the slide, grab it with your thumb, side of your finger, pull it all the way to the rear, let it slam forward. Now I'm going to put the safety on for Jacob and we'll get him ready. All right, safety's on, finger goes high up on the, rain, on the slide, push this thumb forward a little bit more, just like that. All right, now raise your pistol, finger off the trigger, Lock out your elbows, lock out your wrists, lean forward into the gun. All right. Now, when you're ready, flick this off with your thumb all the way down. Yep, you're there. All right. Nice and easy. With those sights, you want to make a lollipop. Finger flat on the trigger. Soft. Good job, nicely done. Make sure you got a good grip with your left hand and let's do that again. Strong grip on the left, soft. Good job, drilling it, nicely done, soft. Keep going, you got plenty in there, have some fun with it. Nicely done, soft. Good job, outstanding. There you go, all right, hey. The gun's empty, the slide locked to the rear, that gives you a vi good visual clue that the gun's empty and it's hungry and wants more. Mm -hmm. It's always sad when it runs out, isn't it? Yeah. All right, hey, you did good, let's go check it out. All right. Look at that, that's something to be happy with, look at that. You only had one, you only pulled one out into the eight ring, that's no big deal. That's just anticipating recoil. But look at this. With the Python as well as the 1911, you kept everything inside the 10 ring. Your daddy's gonna be mighty proud of you. Sure hope so. All right, hey, Jacob did awesome. We're stoked. Thanks again for joining us. We hope you have a great day today. Take care.